Welcome to our lecture online. What we're going to do now is take a look at a high energy proton trying to make it through a barrier that is very narrow but it has a very high potential. So we have a 20 MeV million electron volt proton trying to make it through a barrier of 40 million electron volts. And so we're going to assume that the barrier is going to take on different widths starting with one femtometer making all the way to five femtometers. A femtometer is 10 to the minus 15 meters, so that's in the order of the radius of a nucleus. And so we start with one, then we go to two, three, four, and five femtometers. And in each case, what is the probability that the electron will make it through such a barrier? I've already pre-calculated the alpha. In this case, alpha is a very large number, 9.8 times 10 to the 14th, because, first of all, the proton has a lot of mass, and it had a lot of energy. Oh, this should not be minus 6, it should be plus 6 here. But I think I punched the right number into the calculator. It's 20 million electron volts, so 10 to the 6 is million. Of course, we have the conversion to joules. We have h bar, that means h divided by 2 pi. So, there's all alpha. Let's now calculate the various transmission coefficients, the probabilities of the particle make it through the barrier, and it's going to be this number times e to the minus 2 alpha L. Since e over v is 1 half, that's 1 half times 1 half times 16, so this becomes t is equal to 4 times e to the minus 2 alpha L. So let's go ahead and calculate the various e to the minus 2 alpha L's for the various L's for the various widths of the, of the uh, barrier. So starting with L1, so let's call that T1. So for T1, when L1 is equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 15 meters, we end up with, let's see here, the alpha is 9.8 e to the 14th times 1 e to the 15 minus times 2. And then we put a negative in front of that, take the exponent of that, and then we multiply that times 4, so times 4, and we have a pretty good probability there. It is 0.56, taking, of course, this portion into account. So when, uh, when um, L is 1 times 10 to the minus 15, if this is, let's say, 0.5, and this is 1, notice that it's slightly over half, so it's about right there for the first one. Now let's double the width of the barrier go to 2 femtometers. So when we do that, what do we get over here? We have 9.8 e to the 14th times 2 e to the 15 minus times 2, put a negative in front of that, get the exponent, multiply times, oop, times 4, and now our probability has dropped. T2 is equal to 0 0.08. All right, so now we've dropped all the way down to about here. So you can see that as the barrier gets wider, the probability drops drastically. Now, what about T3? Well, in that case, uh, we have uh, 9.8 e to the 14 times 3 e to the 15 minus times 2, put a negative in front of that, and they get the exponent. And so now our probability is actually quite small. Uh, multiply that times 4, and that gives us a probability of about 0 0.011, so slightly over 1% probability will make it through. So now we're way down here. You can see that the probability drops off very, very, very quickly as the, uh, as the width of the barrier increases. All right, let's go for T4. T4 is equal to... So now we have 9.8 e to the 14th times 1, oop, not 1, but 4 e to the 15 minus, and times 4, negative, take exponent. So now we're at 1.55 times 10 to the minus 7. Oh, did I multiply times 4? I don't think I multiply times 4. So now we have 6.2. 6.2 times 10 to the minus 7. So now the probability drops to less than 1 in a million. So we're way down there. And of course, when we get to the fifth one, it's going to be very tiny, T5. So let's see here. We have 9.8 e to the 14th times 5 e to the 15 minus times 4, whoop, times 2. 2 equals 
put in a negative in front of that, that the exponent. Uh, let me try it again. I think I messed up. All right, 9.8 e to the 14th times 5 e to the 15 minus times 2 and put a negative in front, take the exponent, and I get ooh, times 4. I think I made a mistake on this one because this looks like the correct number that I have, 2.2 times 10 to the minus 4, 2.2 times 10 to the minus 4. So I'm going to do this one again because I have the feeling that I got the wrong number there. So let's try that, 9.8 e to the, so 1.57 times 10 to the minus 3. So not quite as small as I thought for 4, but yeah, it's still pretty tiny. There we go. So the probability goes to virtually zero after the width of the barrier becomes significant. But that gives you an idea of how quickly things drop off, especially with a proton, with an electron, things don't not drop off quite as quickly because the mass is much smaller, and so we have a much smaller alpha. But there's a good idea. There gives you a good feel for how quickly the probability of a proton making through a barrier diminishes as the barrier becomes wider, and the energy of the proton is simply not enough to get it through. And that's how it's done.